Yeah, I know I'm a bit late with this video, but I'm going to go straight ahead and just get into it, man. Napoli 4, Liverpool 1. Um, very disgraceful. Disgraceful all around, man. The only players with credibility from this game, I'd say um, Diaz. Always determination, always um, pressing, always pushing, always trying to score a goal, always trying to do something. Harvey Elliott, the same. This guy's been relentless all season. And it's... It's mad how these two players are, like, Diaz is, is literally just been here. So he's still kind of trying to prove himself. He's still trying to, you know what I mean? He's not down in tools. He's not like, oh, like, we aren't performing, so I'm not going to do this and that. Um, Harvey Elliott, too. He's still, he's got a he's got massive point to prove. He's a youngster. He wants to stake his claim in that midfield. Um, and, yeah, again, he's he's relatively new. So... Yeah, it's mad how these it's these players that are putting in the work, but our other players, it's like they've been there, done it. It's like, oh, oh, I've I've won Champions League, I've won Premier League. I'm like, where's the motivation? Um, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on right now, man. It's it's definitely me. I think everything is mental. Like football in life, everything is mental, um, physical, all of that stuff in football. It's thousand percent not just a physical game, it's mental as well. And I think I alluded to that in my previous video. Um that yeah man, look at Man United. Yeah, Man United are a perfect example about mentality because we've seen with them, look look at all the good players they've got, top quality world class players, top quality prospects. And look how poo poo they were. Look how poo they've been playing. Pants man. Um Obviously, they've switched it up now. Eric Ten Hag's got a few more players in. He's probably instilled a bit of mentality in them. But look look how rubbish they were. It's a mentality thing, man. It's not just physical. Maybe um, I believe our players have come to the end of the road mentally, man. Whether it's with the manager, with the board. Um... <sighs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway... Napoli, Napoli smacked us about. Could have been way worse than four one, man. Could have been way worse. I'm so happy it wasn't. Um, absolutely disgraceful, man. So, something needs to change. Um, our next match is against Wolves in the Premier League. It's actually been postponed um, because the uh, the Queen in our our country, the UK, has passed away. Um, so there's gonna be mourning and stuff like that. So yeah, the Match is being postponed. I'm hearing maybe possible, possibly two weeks postponement, but that's not confirmed. I'm not sure. But this Wolves game that's coming up is definitely off, um, postponed. So, uh, positive in a positive light. Um, it could have you know a chance for to get our players back training back um to full fitness instead of having to rush them into matches and stuff. I think that's a positive. But um, yeah, other than that. Yeah, man, postponed. But yeah, we need to fix up big time for that match. Big time. Because that Napoli result was not it. It was not it. And I, I wonder how the players are going to respond, man. I, I wonder what Klopp's going to do. Um, but yeah, man, we need a big response. We need a big response from this. We need something to kickstart our season because it seems on and off to me right now, man. It seems on and off. I'm not liking how it's heading. I'm not going to lie. Like, no time to explode, but... I'm not liking how it's heading, man, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think, man, in the comments.